Hello! Welcome to this video on random numbers and histograms in R Studio. Here we're going to be talking about how to generate numbers from two different kinds of distributions, a flat or uniform distribution, and also a bell-shaped distribution. Beyond that, we're going to display those numbers using histograms, and we'll do all of this inside of R. So here is our R environment, and the first command that we're going to learn is the command entitled RUnif. And this stands for a random number, that's the R, from a uniform distribution. And what we can do is we can specify in the parentheses how many such numbers we would like R to randomly generate from this uniform distribution. I'll start out simply by putting in a 1, and if I hit enter, you'll see that we get a number that falls in the range between 0 and 1. And this is a equal probability distribution, so all the possible decimals between 0 and 1 are equally likely to occur. If I hit the up arrow key and I hit enter, I can generate another random number from that same range, 0 to 1, and I can do this all day, up arrow and enter, and you'll see that we get lots of different numbers here. Okay, so this is how we might randomly generate one number from that distribution. If I clear that, we can do a very simple variation on this. I'll go back to the runif command, as I had before, but now I can add a few parameters. For example, I might want to generate 10 such numbers, and I might want to generate those numbers uh, in a range that doesn't go between 0 and 1, but some other bottom and top range, or, or portions of the range. Arbitrarily, I will say 17 and 25. So now what I'm asking R to do for us is to randomly generate, and that's the R here, some numbers from a uniform distribution, in fact, 10 such numbers, that will land in this flat probability distribution somewhere between 17 and 25. And I'm going to assign all of that, as we've done in previous videos, to a variable. This is the placeholder that I will call my first variable, v1, for variable 1. Okay, so we would expect then that if I hit the Enter key over here and the environment side, you'll see a list of numbers, at least partially displayed, that will uh, range between 17 and 25. Okay? And we can play around with that even further. I can come back over here to the console, I can hit the up arrow key, and instead of having 10 numbers, I can generate something like uh, 1,000 numbers. Okay? So here's 1,000 numbers between 17 and 25. I'll hit the Enter key. These numbers will change slightly. And I can also display that in a histogram. And helpfully, the histogram command is HIST, and then we get prompted for the variable for which we would like a histogram, and that's going to be variable V1. And I'll now hit Enter, and what will pop up is a histogram that shows on the y-axis, as all histograms do, the frequency of a particular occurrence, and on the x-axis we have the variable of interest, variable v1, and we see that we have numbers ranging from a low of 17 up to 25. A lot of them are occurring here between 18 and 24. In fact, though, it is roughly uniformly distributed. Okay, so this is the case of a uniform distribution. We've, we've generated numbers over an arbitrarily selected range, and we've displayed those as a histogram. Okay, let's minimize all of this and repeat the exercise, and now, though, we'll do the random number generation, not for a uniform or flat probability distribution, but instead for a bell-shaped, or so-called normal curve. This normal curve is also called a Gaussian curve, as I mentioned a little while ago. So, let's get this going again, kind of like we had for R unif, but now it's R norm, and we'll open a left parenthesis, we'll stick in uh, one, because we only want to generate one number to get started from this distribution. And if you specify nothing else in this command, you'll receive a number randomly generated from a bell-shaped distribution that has its mean or its center at zero and has a standard deviation of plus or minus one. So if I hit enter, I'll generate one such number. And if I do this many, many times, you'll notice that after a certain number of tries, I'll generate some negative numbers because, again, this bell-shaped curve is centered at zero and has a standard deviation of plus or minus one. Okay? So I can clear those out now, and in the same way, I can expand this R norm command in the way that I had earlier for the R unif command. And what I mean by that is I can say I want 10 randomly generated numbers from this normal curve, and I want them to range between, say, 100 and 15. Okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, I can get 1,000 of those numbers. Why don't I do it that way? So here's 1,000 such numbers that are going to come from a uh, ran be randomly selected from a normal distribution that has a mean of 100 
and a standard deviation of 15. I'll set that into a new distribution that I'll call my IQ distribution. Okay, so all of that will go into IQ, and when I hit enter, over here you'll see the IQ distribution emerges, and you see a series of numbers uh, that are going to be in the range um, around 100 plus or minus a standard deviation of 15. Okay? Why don't we take a plot of that so you can see what that might look like. Again, we'll use our histogram command. This time we'll put in the IQ distribution, and we'll see what that looks like. And I'll extend that just a little bit further, and you can see that we have at least approximately a bell-shaped curve. It's not perfect, but you can see that we have something that departs very strongly from a uniform distribution where we would have had more equal probabilities here. Okay? By contrast, what I can do is create yet another kind of R norm distribution, but we'll pretend now that we have a different population. We've got a population that has an IQ that is centered around 125, still a standard deviation of 15. This, by the way, might be the IQ of attorneys who have passed the bar. Um, the, that's the exam that attorneys would have to complete in order to practice law. So we can call this IQ attorney. Okay, And I'll generate that new variable, and you'll see that pop up here. I'll minimize this just for a moment. And now we have IQ attorney, and you might notice that the IQs are a little bit higher than they were before. Okay? And to see that more visually, we can take this to uh, the histogram, and we can put an IQ attorney, just like we had. If you start the variable name, R will finish it for you. We can hit the Enter key, and now we have an IQ distribution that is, again, pretty much bell-shaped curve, but it's centered at 120 rather than at 100. And just to appreciate that contrast, I'll dial back here to the normal IQ distribution, which is that of the typical population. It's centered at around 100. I'll call your attention to that down here. If we instead toggle back over to the distribution for attorneys, now it recenters at 120. Okay, so in this video, we've done a couple of things. We've generated some random numbers using two different kinds of distributions, a flat or uniform distribution, and also a bell-shaped distribution. And we've gone on to display the histograms for those distributions. Thanks for listening.